you now say this is not only an alien spaceship, but it's nuclear powered? Why are you saying that? Avi Loeb just revealed eight reasons why the interstellar object 3i Atlas is not a comet. The data is so bizarre, he's given it a level four alien tech rating. For now, I, I rank it four on the scale that I define that is where zero is a natural object and 10 is a technological object. And the object's origin is aligned with the mysterious wow signal. The thing is, this is no longer just a theory. A UN-backed group is now officially monitoring it. We are about to reveal the disturbing data that has the world's top defense groups pointing their instruments at this visitor. The alarming UN-backed campaign. Something big is happening in the world of planetary defense. You see, there's a group called the International Asteroid Warning Network. This is a serious United Nations-endorsed collaboration of the world's top astronomers. Their job is simple. Find and track any space objects that could be dangerous to Earth. They are the planet's official guardians, and they just made a move that, to put it mildly, is completely unprecedented. On October 21st, 2025, IAWN announced a new, urgent campaign. But it wasn't for an asteroid. It wasn't for a typical comet. For the first time in its history, the IAWN is targeting an interstellar object, an object from another star system named 3I Atlas. This is a massive deal. The IAWN doesn't waste time or resources. They are mobilizing astronomers worldwide for a campaign running from November 27th to January 27th, 2026. Their official reason is that comets are challenging to track. But the thing nobody tells you is that the real reason is much more disturbing. This announcement comes just weeks after a white paper was submitted to the United Nations by none other than Avi Loeb. Loeb, the controversial and brilliant head of Harvard's astronomy department and leader of the Galileo Project, is the man who famously claimed our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, was alien technology. Many people dismissed him, but now he's back and he has data on 3i Atlas that is so shocking the UN is clearly listening. Loeb created a scale, the Loeb scale, to rank the likelihood of an object being technological. He just officially upgraded 3i Atlas to a level 4 out of 10. This isn't just a guess. This ranking is based on eight separate mind-bending pieces of data that when combined make a natural origin seem statistically impossible. First, there's its path. Space is big, unimaginably big. Our solar system is a tiny flat disk like a vinyl record. It's called the ecliptic plane. Almost all our planets orbit on this flat plane. An object coming from another star should, by all rights, come in at a random angle, from the top, the bottom, anywhere, but 3i Atlas didn't. It is traveling almost perfectly aligned with our ecliptic plane within five degrees. The likelihood of this happening by chance is just 0.2%. It's like a tourist from another country happening to drive down the exact same tiny unmarked country road as you. It's suspicious, but here's the kicker. During July and August of 2025, as it got closer to the sun, astronomers saw something that made no sense. 3i Atlas had a jet, or a tail, but this tail was pointing towards the sun. This is the opposite of how comets work. A comet's tail is made of ice and dust being blown away from the sun by solar wind. This object had an anti-tail, and scientists confirmed it was not an optical illusion. Then there's the size and speed. This object is a monster. It's estimated to be about a million times more massive than Oumuamua and a thousand times more massive than 2i slash Borisov, our only other two interstellar visitors. And yet it's moving faster than both of them. The chances of the biggest object also being the fastest? The likelihood is less than 0.1%. What many overlooked, however, was its timing. This is where it gets truly disturbing. The object's arrival path was perfectly fine-tuned. It's getting close flybys of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. But at its perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun on October 29th, it was completely unobservable from Earth. It was perfectly hidden by the Sun's glare. The likelihood of its arrival being timed that perfectly by chance? 0.005%. This data alone is enough to raise alarms. But what this impossible object is made of is even more shocking. The industrial alloy comet. When an object gets close to the Sun, it heats up. The gas and dust that burn off create a plume, a little atmosphere that scientists can read like a chemical fingerprint. This fingerprint tells us exactly what the object is made of. 
When the team looking at 3i Atlas got their results back, they must have thought their equipment was broken. The thing nobody tells you about our solar system is that elements like iron and nickel are found in very specific, predictable ratios. Iron is almost always far more common, but the gas plume of 3i Atlas had a lot more nickel than iron. This ratio is incredibly rare in nature. But you know where it is common? In industrially produced nickel alloys here on Earth. Things we build. But it gets weirder. They compared the amount of nickel to the amount of cyanide. This ratio in 3i Atlas is, and this is a direct quote, orders of magnitude larger than that of all known comets in our solar system, including the other interstellar comet, 2i slash Borisov. The likelihood of this chemical signature occurring naturally is less than 1%. This led to the next logical question. If it's not a rock, it must be a comet, right? Comets are, at their core, just giant, dirty snowballs. They are made of water ice, mixed with dust and rock. Water is their primary ingredient. It's what creates the beautiful, massive tails we see. So the team measured the water. The results were staggering. The gas plume of 3i Atlas contains only 4% water by mass. Let that sink in. An object that looks like a comet acts weirdly like a comet and is being tracked by comet hunters is not a comet. It's not a dirty snowball. It's a massive, fast-moving object made of something else, something that looks a lot like industrial metal. If the chemical data wasn't enough, the light data sealed the deal. When sunlight bounces off an object, the light becomes polarized. Scientists can measure this. Every comet in our solar system and 2i slash Borisov has a predictable positive polarization. 3i Atlas, on the other hand, showed extreme negative polarization. This has never been seen before. It is unprecedented. The likelihood of this, again, is less than 1%. This is why Avi Loeb upgraded it to a level 4. This is why the UN is involved. Because when you multiply these probabilities, the 0.2% chance of its path, the less than 0.1% chance of its size to speed ratio, the 0.005% chance of its timing, the less than 1% chance of its nickel content, the less than 1% chance of its polarization. You get a cumulative likelihood that is less than 1 in 10 quadrillion. That's a 1 with 16 zeros after it. It is more likely you will win the Powerball lottery every single weekend for a year than for this object to be a natural comet. The data is clear. 3i Atlas is not natural. So, what is it? And where did it come from? The answer to that question might be the most chilling part of all. Is it preparing to release probes? To understand the growing fear around 3i Atlas, we have to talk about a mystery from 1977. An astronomer named Jerry Eamon was using the Big Ear radio telescope when he recorded a 72-second long radio burst. It was so strong, so unlike anything from Earth or any known natural object, that he simply circled it on the printout and wrote one word, WOW. It remains the single most compelling unexplained candidate for an alien radio signal in human history. For decades, we've stared at that same patch of sky, hoping to hear it again. The final and perhaps most disturbing data point on 3i Atlas is its origin. Avi Loeb and his team traced its trajectory backward, out of our solar system and into deep space. It came from a direction that is within 9 degrees, coincident with the radio WOW signal. The likelihood of this alignment just by chance is a tiny 0.6%. The picture this paints is hard to ignore. A potential alien signal from decades ago, and now a massive, statistically impossible object arriving from that exact same spot. This has led Loeb to a chilling hypothesis. 3i Atlas is a mothership. It's too massive and moving too fast to slow down and stop in our solar system. That would take an impossible amount of energy. But what if it doesn't need to stop? What if instead its mission is to get close to our sun and use it for a maneuver? There's a concept in physics called the Oberth effect. To put it simply, it's the most efficient time for a spacecraft to fire its engines. The slingshot maneuver. A spacecraft gets the biggest boost, the most bang for its buck, when it fires its thrusters at its perihelion, its closest point to a massive object like our sun. The perihelion of 3i Atlas, the moment it is closest to our sun, is October 29, 2025. This is the date that has scientists worried. Loeb's theory is that this massive mothership will continue on its path, eventually leaving our solar system. 
but at perihelion, it will take advantage of the Oberth effect to release many probes. These smaller, more agile probes could then use the sun's gravity to maneuver, slow down, and head towards targets. Targets like Mars, Venus, or Earth. This is no longer science fiction. This is a theory built on a mountain of data that defies a natural explanation, and we are just days away from the moment of truth. It's a terrifying thought, and what's worse, we had a chance to see it up close, and we just missed it. The sobering reality of 3i Atlas. We could have known. We could have had pictures. We have a spacecraft right now in the perfect neighborhood to get a look. NASA's Juno spacecraft is currently orbiting Jupiter, and 3i Atlas is scheduled for a close flyby of Jupiter on March 16, 2026. A paper published by Loeb and his colleagues calculated that if the Juno spacecraft had its initial fuel supply from its launch, it could have easily been redirected to intercept 3i Atlas. We could have had high-resolution images. We could have settled the debate once and for all. This possibility was so real that on July 31, 2025, U.S. Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna sent a visionary letter to NASA urging them to consider this exact mission. But to put it mildly, it was too late. Juno has used its fuel. The opportunity is gone. We missed our shot. So now we are stuck on Earth, blind. We have to rely on telescopes. From late November to late January, every major observatory on Earth will be watching this object. They will be looking for any change in its path after its perihelion on October 29th. They will be looking for any sign of a maneuver. They will be looking for the probes. Avi Loeb isn't waiting for permission. While mainstream astronomy focuses on distant galaxies and theoretical models, Loeb is looking right here, right now. He has officially tasked his own private, fast-moving research team, the Galileo Project, to monitor the skies near Earth. They aren't just casually observing, they are actively hunting. Their telescopes are scanning for any unusual activity, any blip on the radar, any objects that simply don't belong. In the crucial coming months, they are hunting for the many probes, the breadcrumbs they believe 3 I Atlas may have deployed as it passed. So this is where we are. We have to look at the facts because they defy belief. We have an object from another star system blazing through our solar system at an incredible speed. The data suggests it is made of industrial alloys, materials we use for construction, not for comets. It has no detectable water ice, yet it is somehow firing a jet of material directly at the sun as if engaged in a propulsive maneuver. And perhaps most chillingly, its origin aligns with the direction of the WOW signal the most famous potential alien transmission ever recorded. If that wasn't enough to raise eyebrows, its flight path seems almost precision engineered. It was timed perfectly to be hidden by the sun, completely invisible from Earth at a key moment in its approach. You really have to ask yourself, are we just seeing what we want to see? Is this a planet-sized case of wishful thinking? Are we letting our imagination run wild, connecting dots that aren't there? Or just maybe, are we finally doing what science is supposed to do, ignoring our own deep-seated bias and listening only to the data? The data says this isn't normal. The data says this isn't natural. The thing is, does all this just happen overnight by sheer blind chance? Is this real? Are we missing a key, simple detail that explains everything? Or is the paradigm-shifting truth staring us right in the face? The math, according to the researchers analyzing its behavior, says this object is not natural. The chance of a rogue object behaving this way, with this trajectory, with this propulsion, is 1 in 10 quadrillion. The odds are, quite literally, astronomical. What do you think 3i Atlas is? Is it the greatest natural mystery we've ever seen, or is it the proof we've been waiting for? Let us know below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on this incredible story.